guys, John here with LearningGuitarNow.com. And in this lesson, I want to show you kind of an Albert Collins influence a swing blues solo. Uh, I've thrown in a little bit of my style. I had a few elements from uh, uh, Mr. Frosty, you know, uh, Albert Collins, uh, one of my favorite uh, blues guitar players. And in this lesson, we're going to take a look at a 24-bar uh, solo that I wrote played over a swing blues. It's in the key of E. We'll go ahead and take a look at the first couple of licks for free, and if you would like to, to learn the whole solo, uh, check out the All Access Pass. Uh, you'll also uh, get the interactive tab and the downloadable backing track when you join the All Access Pass, as well as all the other podcasts that I've created for learning guitar now. Uh, you'll also gain access to all the courses on the site. Uh, there's almost around 200 hours of video of uh, blues and slide guitar lessons. So let's go ahead and start this podcast. Okay, now I'm going to break down this solo for you into seven separate licks. Once again, this is a swing blues played in the key of E. Lick one sounds like this. Okay, so that's lick number one. Uh, what's happening with it is we're coming in uh, right before the band starts. It comes on the one, two, three, four, on the four and. So we're going to strike a 14th fret here on the A string and do this little pattern taken from the major pentatonic scale. But I'm adding a little mute in there. So you go. So you got 14 and 11. Pretty cool little pattern right here. 14, 11, 14. Minor pentatonic scale, but dropping back uh, that flat seventh. A back one note, give us that major six. Common BB King, Albert Collins, any old school blues does that pattern. Also, Steve Ray Vaughan, you know, uh, Texas Flood. You know, that kind of vibe. So we got 1411. Then you uh, hit the string, but mute it. And then hit 14 on the D string. And then up, rake, and then down. So it's like an up and then down uh, rake. I find Albert Collins has a lot of this percussive style. Uh, you know, he never used a pick, but I'm gonna play this solo with a pick. Um, some people just don't wanna use only their fingers. So it's a good way to approximate his style, adding these uh, up and down rakes like this. For more about that technique, check out Blues Techniques, one of my premium courses in the All Access Pass. But we have this. Now 12, 14. Now that same thing, up, down, rake again. And then bar 12th fret on the B and the high E string. Now jump up to 17 on the B string. That's the root note, the E, uh, the key that we're in. And that's it uh, for lick one. Just playing it with a lot of attitude and uh, taking that first position minor pentatonic scale and adding that up major six. That 14 is the same thing as 11 here on the D string. Same note. Great way to combine major and minor pentatonic skills. Okay, that's it for lick one. Okay, lick two is this. All right, that's lick two. A pretty basic lick here. Uh, we're just utilizing the second position minor pentatonic scale and utilizing that classic blues pattern right here. Fifth interval to flat seventh over and over again. Then I'm sliding in uh, the blues scale right here, 15th uh, fret on the G string, backwards to the 14th fret of the G string, that little blues pattern. Pretty basic lick, but just used in all kind of blues stuff. Pretty simple. Just applying uh, some heavy vibrato here, the last note. Uh, that's 14th fret, the key we're in. So uh, lick two, pretty basic. Now, anytime you have that minor pentatonic section right there, you're doing all that. Adding this in. That little, uh, 
back and forth between those two notes, the uh, fifth interval and the flat seventh. You also can play them as a chord. You'll hear that a lot of times. In this case, I'm just playing them back and forth. It's just a great thing to know. It's pretty basic, uh, but it's just one of those classic blues moves. Okay, that's it for lick two. Okay, lick three sounds like this. Okay, so that is lick number three. Pretty aggressive sounding lick here. Uh, this is played over the four chord, the first section of it, the A chord. So to start it, um, you want to up and then down rake. Uh, bending that 15th fret on the high E string. Letting it uh, hold out for three count. One, two, three, and then bending it up again. And this is classic Albert King move, uh, but played on the high E string here. You want to play that aggressively. Strike it with a pick hard, and then you get a vibrato. So I'm doing a down up stroke to get that attack sound. So we got this. Then I'm also utilizing that up vibrato, of course, because you, you can't go down vibrato, but you just got to get that lick down. You hear Albert Collins doing that a ton as well as Stevie Ray and uh, Albert King. And the key to getting that lick down is getting that vibrato really good. So if you don't vibrato, it's not quite the impact that you want. So up vibrato extremely fast. You can't do it, make an exercise out of it. Every day, just go. And then maybe you do that in every key, G. G sharp, A. You get the idea. You just want to master that uh, lick. Okay, so the next section, uh, we're just walking down the first position minor pentatonic scale. And then one of those cutoffs that uh, Albert Collins does all the time just bending that 12th fret on the G string slightly up and then pull it off real quick. So we just got to get the right attack. So I'm hitting everything pretty hard. You can also make that into an exercise. I'm using two down strokes and uh, attacking the strings pretty hard. Okay, so that's it for like three. Okay, well, that does it for this podcast. Uh, like I said, if you'd like to learn the full solo, uh, check out the All Access Pass. You'll also get the interactive tab and backing track. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.